What's up, everybody? This is Ingram again with the Minecrafters, and I'm today. I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine. Now, for those of you who don't know what Optifine is, it's something that used to come um, packaged natively with TechIt Classic, and it basically pimps out Minecraft, um, the graphic capabilities of it, lets you tweak a whole bunch of things, adds the ability to change your render distance in increments of I think 16. Um, you can go all the way to something called Extreme, which is 512 blocks out. Um, you can change how your clouds are rendered. You can change fog distance. You can change all sorts of stuff. Um, and as the uh, mod author says, doubling your uh, FPS is actually quite common. That's something that I found to be true. Um, I, I pretty much missed Optifine from day one when Tech at Light didn't have it. So. Um, Earlier today, I was messing around with some mod pack folders, and I ended up wiping out my whole uh, my whole install. And since I figured I have to install Optifine again anyway, I might as well teach you guys how to do the same thing. So let's get going. So to start out, we're going to go to themindcrafters.com, and there is a tutorial that will walk you through how to install Optifine for Tech at Light if I go too fast, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to use the Ultra D3 version. We're going to grab that download here um, from the main site. I didn't link directly to the file just because uh, sometimes these things change and I don't want to I don't want to lock anybody into an older version. So go to the website um, that's linked from our website, grab the zip file, download it, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so once we've downloaded the file, now we're going to need to go into the TechIt Lite bin folder and to do that go to your C drive, your users folder, your username, app data, roaming, technic launcher, tech it light if you've ever installed a uh, texture pack you've you've done this before. Go to the bin folder and there's a file in here called modpack.jar. Now what we're just going to do, I'm going to copy that to the desktop just as a backup. We're going to open that with the WinRAR archiver and we want to open that specifically with that with Win WinRAR we're going to do the same thing for the uh, Optifine zip file we just downloaded now the procedure here again like all the texture packs is pretty easy you just need to be careful of the order grab in your modpack.jar file there's a meta.inf folder I'm not really sure why but you do need to delete this according to the mod author just go ahead and delete it doesn't seem to impact anything then go into your Optifine uh, zip file that you have open, select all, and then just drag and drop. You want to make sure that you choose add and replace files, and then hit OK, and it does it pretty quick. Then you can close these out, and at this point you're pretty well good to go. I'm going to open up TechIt and show you what changed. Okay, so here we are. We're back in Minecraft, and we are in the... Uh, HV solar array factory wing here. Um, I'm going to show you a bunch of the video settings that are added by uh, Optifine. So one of the major things is now you have this thing called render distance and you can go from tiny which is 32 meters to extreme which is 512 meters out and you can you can actually go in 16 meter increments so you can um, you can scale it to however fast your computer is. Um, I have FAR plus 32 seems to run well enough. You can change OpenGL. Um, there's a couple different options. Uh, fast will only only bother rendering things you can actually see. Um, you have a bunch of different performance options now. You can uh, lazy chunk load. You can set it to upload a, or update a bunch of chunks. Um, every time you can set it to update a lot more chunks when you're just standing still you can set it to even preload chunks so if you never go outside of a certain radius you can have it um, keep those chunks loaded all the time and then only bother to load things outside that if you uh, if you stray from your base um, you also have a couple other things like the lagometer and some debug profilers you can you can um, play around with the lagometer is actually, if you hit F3, you can see the thing down in the bottom uh, left corner of my screen. And that's showing the overall um, CPU process. Um, I'm running a bunch of different things uh, behind the scenes here, so that's why it looks so horrible. And I'm having a problem with um, MC Edit replaced 
a bunch of ore in our world with turtles. So a lot of that is the computer trying to um, analyze and, and run a bunch of different turtles. But um, Optifine adds a ton of different things. It's really like you really can't play well without it. Um, you can, oh, there's another cool thing called connected textures. And I think there's some visible here. Okay, so if we look, see this glass? If you have connected textures on, it'll actually make it look all like one giant window pane. If we turn it off, you can see the difference. <clears throat> see, that's what it looks like normally if you do not have connected textures on. But if we turn them off, and you can even turn them on fast, and it still works, it still works fine. And it looks cool. Like you can see it, you can see straight through glass, which is a problem over in Chief Diesel's base because he insists on making the walls, the ceiling, and the floor out of glass, which basically means I'm constantly falling out of his base. But that's uh, Optifine. That's how to install it. Um, it really, like this facility, normally wouldn't. It would have a very difficult time loading. So there you have it. That's how to install Optifine. Um, if you get stuck, let us know in the comments or uh, in the uh, comment section on the video or the comment section on the website. Um, we'll respond to either place. Uh, make sure to check us out at themindcrafters.com and please like, comment, and subscribe. The step-by-step -step tutorial for this video is actually in the description below. Make sure to check it out if I went too fast. Guys, as always, thanks for watching and stay poised.